All right, guys, the boroscope, right? It's got lights on it. Yep, that's right, we got lights on it. This thing is power, baby. So right now I'm doing a screen recording on my laptop right here. I'm gonna stick this down the plug hole and we'll see what we can see. So yeah, it's going in right now. What's up Nitro Gang? This video was supposed to be about me trying to hit 40 miles an hour on this Nitro 3 Drift using the Bones Brew 30%. But you know what? We're not going to be doing that right now. So I decided to just put this, uh, you know, classic HPI on the Baja, give it a couple style points, you know. This after all is an original classic HPI, fully original, and this is a clone of an HPI. It's kind of ironic, you know, but hey, that's not what this video is about. So what's this video have to do with this Baja on the table, right? How come the Baja beat out speed runs on this Drift Vintage Nitro RC? Well, the other day I went to start it, I couldn't start it. And this is pretty much a common problem in any RC. I don't want to say it's only for Nitro. Guess what? Sometimes you can't start your gas RCs. Now, there's always two things you got to first check for in any internal combustion motor. This goes for any car. Got to make sure you have fuel. You got to make sure you have spark. The easiest thing to check, of course, is is the engine actually getting fuel? Now, yes, you do have clear fuel lines, you know, running from the fuel tank to the carb. And you do have a clear primer bulb on the carb. Now, in my case, I put in a fake 990 Walbro carb, and it's not even a Walbro, it's just a clone of a Walbro, but it is a 990, and I have run a good amount of fuel through it so far, I would say about a gallon, and so far it performs fine. Now, the other day, I was just idling this Baja and it just shut off on me. And um, I was starting to worry, I was starting to say to myself, hey, is everybody actually right? Does this thing only last about a gallon? I mean, I paid only $12 for this carb right here. You know what, let me remove this thing. It's, it's uh, getting in the way. So here's the carb, right? I paid only 12 bucks for it on eBay and it's been doing good so far. But is it possible that this thing only does good for about uh, a gallon and it dies down? So, you know, I observe fuel in it. Okay, what's the next step of troubleshooting? Then you gotta check for spark. Now, I already had a new NGK plug in here, and um, believe it or not, I wound up having to get another NGK plug over here. So, I will tell you right now, long story short, it came down to a bad plug. Don't know how it got filed. One of the most uh, classic ways of ruining your spark plug is running too rich or too lean. Now, I run I would say uh, probably on the rich side, we're gonna remove the plug, we're gonna take a look at it. I'll show you exactly why that's the case. Just by looking at the plug, you could tell how to tune your engine. Time to remove the plug and I'll show you what's going on. I've already tested it, so I have confirmed it doesn't work. So as you look at the tip, it is fairly black, right? Uh, that's a good sign that I am running way too rich if it was like a lighter kind of charcoal -y color, that would be a sign that I am running too lean. I'm gonna put a chart here for you guys to observe. Take a screenshot of this chart in case you wanna save this for later. Now, when you're running too rich, you're always gonna have pretty much a nearly black electrode. The first thing I'm gonna do is check whether I actually have spark. Now you can physically check the spark plug by connecting this on here and you know holding it to a piece of metal on the car just like this and that will create hopefully a spark in the electrode. But the best thing to do is check whether your car is actually first sending spark from the coil to make sure the system is good. This is the plug checker. Hopefully what would happen is it would bridge this gap and you would see spark literally being um, applied to this other portion here. This alligator clip we could stick onto any piece of metal. I'm just gonna put it on top of, you know, the cooling fin on the motor like that. The spark plug wire will get hooked up to this end and that's it. At this point, you could just hold it and cycle the pull start. This is where you're gonna be looking. Just check to see whether you have a literal spark that you could visibly see while you're pulling the pull start. So yeah, the spark is freaking insane. It's huge in this car. Look at how huge this gap is. Man, that is nice. 
So we know we've verified that there is spark. Now I've connected the old spark plug that I know this thing does not start with and when it did start it ran really sluggish and poorly. So it's connected as it should be. I'm going to be touching the same exact piece. Keep an eye on the electrode here. You might see a spark but it's going to be very very faint if anything at all. Make sure you don't touch the metal body with your fingers. You're going to get zapped. Okay here we go. I'm pulling the pull start as I did before and you literally cannot observe any visible spark bridging the gap here between the electrode and the plug, right? Maybe very, very little I see it, but it's, it's almost nothing. So you know what? I'm gonna get a new plug, one that I just verified. This one runs. As we all know, we're using the CMR7H plug, which is a standard plug that's used on basically every fit scale gas RC. I've already run this. I know that it starts and it runs. But take a look at the electrode on this. It is basically clean and my old one is very, very dark, indicating that I ran pretty rich. I'm now doing the same test with the new plug. I know it runs, I just ran it. Observe the gap. Man, that spark, that's what you call spark, guys. That's what you wanna see. This is the best way to test your spark in the field. You want to make sure you see the spark. I'm going to do it a couple times. You know why I'm doing this? I like the way the gas engine smells when the piston goes up and down. Oh yeah, that's some spark right there, baby. Very strong. You can clearly see the difference in this old one. There was nothing coming out of here. It was bad. Now even sometimes if you see it on the old plug, it might still not start. So yeah, guys, you don't really have to have a tool like I use, like this, right, to bridge the gap. This is good enough. So this is all you need to verify if you have spark or not. Okay, you saw that, very easy to test your spark. This is one of the most common reasons that people cannot start their RC. Of course, you know, if you flooded it, then whether you have spark or not is really irrelevant, but, the good way to check on whether it's flooded is you still have to remove your plug and then you basically just pull the pull start just like I did. You'll see some droplets of fuel come out of the top of the plug hole here and that's how you'll know you flooded it. I think I've only flooded a Baja maybe two times in my life until I figured out what I was doing. So the spark plug, ironically enough, even though I just replaced the plug in this thing to make like the other two videos on this RC, it still fouled itself up. There's really no particular reason why. Maybe it was bad. Maybe, um, you know, the mixture of fuel I was running was too rich. It's highly possible. But other than that, the only thing you could do is verify if you have spark, verify if you have fuel. And then it should start up. That's really the two main elements you need. So now, just for, you know, curiosity reasons, because I like doing this kind of stuff, I want to take a look inside with this boroscope, right, on my computer inside the engine. Let's see what it looks like inside. I know this was used when I first got it, of course. I don't know how much fuel was run through it and I never looked inside the engine. I don't know how much carbon buildup there is, but this thing runs great. It's an RCMK engine. It's pretty powerful. It has pretty good RPM. Let's see what it looks like inside. All right, guys, the boroscope, right? It's got lights on it. Yep, that's right. We got lights on it. This thing is power, baby. So. Right now I'm doing a screen recording on my laptop right here. I'm going to stick this down the plug hole and we'll see what we can see. So yeah, it's going in right now. I hope you're enjoying this picture in picture view because uh, this stuff is not the easiest to record. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. So this port here in the back, that is the exhaust port, the largest port in the back right there. It goes straight to your exhaust. I could see a good amount of uh, oil film around the wall of the engine block itself we have a couple other ports there right i don't see any significant damage of any kind we have some more ports here let me pull the pull start now a little bit and we'll see what it looks like as the piston moves up this is kind of fun i'm excited myself oh yeah look at that you can see the film from the oil on the sides of this uh piston pretty nice that's what happens when you run rich guys although 
as people have demonstrated, you still see this even when you run 50 to 1 on uh, Eastside RC's channel. He's one of my uh, fit scale gas RC boys, so make sure you guys sub him also. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Really nothing else to see here. Pretty cool inside of a, you know, a gas engine. Who else is going to do this but me? Probably nobody, right? I mean, this kind of stuff I like doing right here. Just so you know, this is taking a lot of memory on my computer. I have like two different recordings going on right now. But yeah, nothing else really to see here. I mean, I can't go that deep anyway. Let's see what happens if I stick this into the exhaust. I'm going to literally stick this into the exhaust now. Probably nothing's going to happen. It's crooked and we won't be able to see nothing. Okay, yeah. Here we go. As I expected, there's really nothing you could see here. This is just an expansion chamber. But, man, if there are more places to stick this on the Baja, I definitely would. You know, sticking it in an engine, that's not enough for me. You guys know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Congratulations. You've seen inside of a RCMK engine. That's nice. That's it, guys. I'm going to call this video done. Um, there's really nothing else I could say. I still have to do some work on this Baja. I will be speed testing it. I just wanted you to know that um, off camera, I did get 44 miles an hour on this, which is the same as my 30cc Roven Baja. And cavities? Oh, I don't know what cavities actually look like. Oh yeah, everything looks okay. Look at this, you guys. Who else is going to do a close-up of their freaking teeth in an RC video? Nobody. That's what I do. That's why you got to still keep watching me. You never know what's going to show up in these videos. Thanks so much, guys. See you later.